another day, another Whole Foods run. Well, that took a lot longer than it should. I had to go from Whole Foods to Stop and Shop and pick up some fried chicken from there because Whole Foods did not have it. Uh, and I guess I should tell you guys like what my day looks like tomorrow. So tomorrow is an easy day. We have our primary passenger and we do one drop off and then one ferry flight to Miami. So tomorrow's the start of the trip. Very easy. My primary passenger loves fried chicken. I'm excited to serve something that's not like dietary restricted items because you usually my passengers have some sort of preference, which I don't mind, but how fun is fried chicken on a private jet? So I have all the groceries for that. And then we overnight in Miami, as I said. Then in Miami, we start one of those crazy island hop trips that I do uh, on Tuesday. So originally I was not gonna pick up groceries for that island trip. Generally, I've done pretty well in making sure that I had good catering for my passengers. But the contract flight attendant who I told you about, who I walked through, like what our passengers normally eat, uh, she did a similar trip to this with a different group of passengers. Same destinations, pretty much. But she had a bad catering fail in, uh, not Turks and Caicos, in Curacao, which is a destination that I'm going to. So she ordered tons of catering and only half of the catering showed up. So I don't wanna be caught with a problem like that. I also don't wanna not secure good, like clean kind of food because once I get to the island passengers, there's a few dietary restrictions on that group of people. There's a jet taking off, it's very loud. Um, so yeah, grocery shopping just took forever. I'm at the hangar now. The airplane is not inside the hangar. I see it parked outside. So I'm not gonna load the plane until tomorrow. I have a ferry flight, I can get everything done then. Whew, I'm out of breath. Uh, I just made 75 trips up and down airplane stairs, getting the plane loaded. Um, kind of told you guys what we're doing. I'll be more in depth the days that we're going, but the issue and the reason why today took long at the grocery store and everything. So I didn't want to bring food. I told you guys that I wanted to make my life easy, but then I worried about not being able to get food. But then the other problem was we have 14 passengers on a plane that seats 14. So the cargo compartment is gonna be totally full and the pilots weren't confident that I'd be able to get my cooler on board and store it in the back. Also, that's why I didn't wanna go too crazy trying to go grocery shopping before this trip. But I think I found a good solution for breakfast. I figure we're eating lunch out or dinner out every night so I'll be able to pick up lunch or dinner items breakfast is going to be the most tricky so that's the only thing I ended up picking up I've already blabbed about this for way too long there's still good sunlight hours left it's a pretty nice day here considering it's the winter so I'm going to go home get some outdoor time in with Johnny and then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow when it's time to fly <laughs> Okay, everything on this plane are extra supplies. Um, it's out of control. So I've got to figure out somewhere for all of this junk to go. I have bacon in my own personal purse. And then I've loaded this cabinet with like, hopefully the logos aren't showing. Some of them are sleeves and sleeves of cups and water and sparkling water.
Just got back from the gym. It was hotter than hell in there. They definitely need a fan at this hotel gym, uh, but it was good. I did a little run and now I'm gonna have a shower and meet the pilots downstairs. We're just gonna have dinner at the hotel. Uh, I talked about it before on island trips, but we do not get a lot of rest on these trips. So tomorrow morning is gonna come very, very early and um, yeah, not much ground time. So time to get things moving. I do want to talk to you guys about catering though. Uh, we fueled tonight since we're leaving so early tomorrow. We fueled right when we got here in Miami. And during that time, I called the catering company and placed my order. And I ordered roasted tomato and asparagus frittatas, like a breakfast meal. You guys can understand what I'm saying, right? The girl on the phone kept saying tomato asparagus piccata. So that made me really nervous. That's why I hate using catering companies. I really only ever had one bad experience where catering came really late. Generally, they're fine. I just missed my hanger one, guys. But since that was happening, I sent over an email saying, hey, I couldn't really hear you guys on the phone. Just wanna confirm my order. Here's what I have. So they have it written out in text and they emailed me back a confirmation. So it's kind of easing me a little bit, um, but really for the rest of the food, except for the last day, cause we come back to Miami. But I think for the rest of the trip, I will be providing food from restaurants. And I did that grocery run yesterday. I'll show you what I'm preparing. That's not until Wednesday though. So right now all the food I bought from the grocery store is sitting in the refrigerator at the FBO. Then I will put my ice packs in the cooler. It's not really cooler, it's just like a giant freezer bag. Uh, I'll put my ice packs in there tomorrow morning and we'll fly it down to Panama and then it will sit in the cooler in Panama until I serve it Wednesday morning. So I'm gonna shower, eat, hopefully get some sleep and I'll talk to you guys really early. I match the decor in this room. I love it. Well, good morning. I did not sleep at all last night. No real reason. My brain just didn't wanna let me sleep. So I'm very tired, heading down to the lobby to make the biggest cup of coffee, and then uh, we're off to Panama. I'll keep you posted on catering. Fingers crossed, it all goes well. All right, well, the sun is up now. I've had three cups of coffee. All the catering has been put away and it all looked good. So I'm very happy. Less stress for today. I don't wanna say no stress because the flight is very full. Um, it's about two and a half hours to Panama and just a breakfast service. Pilots are inside, checking passports, getting passengers, escorting them to the plane. And I'm just sitting here talking to you guys. I'll see you in Panama. All right, so I am here in Panama. I'm about to meet the pilots downstairs. Our hotel makes acai bowls. That one of the pilots said was really good. So we're gonna do a light lunch and then I've convinced the boys to walk to the supermarket with me to prep for catering tomorrow. So I've shown you guys before, um, I've used just crack and egg cups to make omelets on board. So I need to pick up eggs for that. And then we have two flights tomorrow. So our first flight, we're going to Bogota, Colombia and it's only an hour away and I have to feed breakfast to 14 people. So I'm a little nervous about time. Um, I'll have those eggs that I was just telling you about and then hash browns and then bacon. So we're also leaving early for the airport tomorrow. So I have time to prep since I won't have a lot of time in flight to heat the food. And then we have a sit in Colombia for a little. So we'll venture off, the, the flight crew will venture off and go get food while our passengers do their meetings. And then we take them to Curacao. No meal was requested for Curacao because um, they're gonna be fed lunch in Colombia and then dinner in Curacao. So I just, I'm gonna put together like a veggie tray. So I'm picking up eggs, some fruits also for breakfast tomorrow and vegetables. at the store, this Katoa coffee from Boquette, Panama is so good, so smooth. I'm hoping that I can find some to take some home.
got back from a run. Clearly, I'm a disgusting mess. So I'm gonna shower and then the boys and I are gonna meet up for dinner. We have another really early day tomorrow, like a 5 a.m. van, which is terrible. That's less than 12 hours away. Um, so we talked about staying at the hotel and eating, but there's also a restaurant here in Panama that we love going to. That's kind of a trek. Uh, so we're gonna see how we feel. They're still working out. 20 minute run was good enough for me. Uh, and actually they have a Peloton treadmill here, which I had never used. I use the bike, I have the bike. Um, so it was cool to check out the treadmill. I enjoyed it more than other treadmills, but that might be because I ran along to the app. So who knows, but I'm feeling good this afternoon. I got my catering done. I got my exercise in. And so now shower, a little bit of food, a little bit of reading, and then I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Colombian siesta is over. I took a nap. I read a book. I ate some delicious food. And that's about it. We sat around really just kind of watching TV. We're all so tired. So we're on our way to Curacao now. And I don't think we land until like seven tonight, but I'm going to just secure catering from our hotel. We're staying at a full service hotel tons of restaurants. I don't know if I'm going to order it tonight or tomorrow. I'll talk to the um, front desk and see what they would recommend. So of course I'll show you what I end up getting and uh, hopefully, well, we do have some downtime in Curacao. So hopefully I'll be able to show you some Curacao also. <laughs> to Curacao. Little room tour. I love this bathroom. It's so cute. Little fish decal. And then I'm into the brightness and I match it again. I of course match the hotel room again. How lucky am I? Good closet. And this view. It'll be good in the morning. This is like the common area, courtyard part of it, but I have an ocean view and I can hear the ocean. I'll show you my bed and everything. So it's cute, definitely very tropical, very islandy feel. And you're probably not gonna be able to see. I'm like right on the water. Yeah, you can't see anything except that ship out there but you can hear it. I can hear the ocean. That excites me. So when we were waiting to check into the hotel, we ran into our passengers from today. And even though it's like a company thing, it was a little awkward. They invited us to have dinner with them and they're so kind. These are like the nicest, most fun, most down to earth group of people. But I feel like maybe it would be weird to get dinner. Like part of me is torn because they're so nice and they're funny and they're just like great people to talk to and be around in general. But I feel like from a professional level, like we should decline the dinner invitation and that's the pilot's thought as well. Um, so it's like, I'm a little torn on that. 
but they're all downstairs now and uh, the boys are gonna shower before we go out to dinner. Um, there's like four or five restaurants on this property. So we're gonna eat at one of them, a different one from our passengers. <laughs> and then I need to go to the gift shop. I ran out of big bottles of water for our coffee machine um, and that sort of thing. So I've gotta buy a ton of water bottles while we're here. And for the flight tomorrow, I'm ordering uh, just catering from the restaurant here. I have tons of Ziploc bags as I always do. And we're going to Miami. So it's a two hour and 36 minute flight, I wanna say, but it's in between lunch and dinner like today was. So I'm just doing appetizers because that's all the passengers asked for. Finally checking out that view. Well, good morning. I finally got to see my beach view. I finally got to sleep last night and I'm still working on catering. There is a really good room service menu and it says it's available pretty much all day. So I was gonna do um, some turkey and brie sandwiches and then some veggie sandwiches and key lime pie for my flight. And I was just gonna cut the sandwiches in half since food is not really requested. But I just called down. First of all, they're accommodating me an hour earlier, which I really appreciate. Hopefully it really is an hour earlier. I know how island time works. But second of all, they don't have the veggie sandwiches. They only have the turkey and brie sandwiches. So I'm dressed for the day. I was gonna go meet the pilots for breakfast, but I'm just gonna walk around and see if there's anything I could pick up for my vegetarian. Um, but also I'm not gonna stress too much about it. I do have soup on board. I have like a Thai vegetarian curry soup. And I think I have a pack of those um, stewed potato and chickpea things that I've shown you guys before. So potentially it could just be a soup and salad flight, not a soup and salad flight, a soup and sandwich flight. I do also have extra meats and cheeses from yesterday and a tub of hummus and some baby carrots. So I feel like I'm gonna be okay. I don't wanna stress too much about it, um, especially because the passengers said they don't wanna eat on this flight, they just wanna snack. But also it being almost a three hour flight, it's like two hours and 36 minutes or something, I feel like I need to do something for them, which could very well just be drinks for three hours. I'll come up with something, I'll let you know what I come up with. back from breakfast, back from a very quick walk. It took me longer to get the sand off my feet and legs than it did for me to walk through the resort. So it's a beautiful layover. Unfortunately, it's not a very long layover and I've got to get ready to fly. Well, we're at the home stretch, getting ready to head out. I did just call downstairs to make sure things were looking good with my catering order. They appear to be looking good. So in about 20 minutes or so, I'm gonna head down there, make sure my food is down there. And if they deliver at 11.45, like they said they were going to, I'll have no problem getting on the van with the pilots at noon to head to the airport. So I'll let you know, the islands always make me nervous. I've been burned before, not here in Curacao. This is, I've flown into Curacao before, but this is my first time staying overnight. So just putting positive vibes out there, hoping for the best, and you can only do what you can do. So we'll see how it goes. My key lime pie has all melted, so I'm serving key lime pie pudding in cups.
Oh my gosh, you guys, I am so tired. I'm in Miami, same hotel, same decor. I'm in all black tonight, so I technically still match, but it's not a full on pattern match. Okay, let's talk about the flight. It was closer to three hours because there's some weather. And for my passengers who didn't want anything, they wanted everything. It was a crazy busy flight. Uh, I felt like there wasn't enough time to clean, to prep, to do everything that I needed to do. Maybe that's because I went into it so casually thinking, hey, this is gonna be pretty easy. Like. They already ate, it's gonna be fine. Uh, luckily all the catering worked out. I had plenty of sandwiches, plenty of salad. I still had meats and cheese left over and then some carrots and hummus and plantain chips. So put that all together and then I plated key lime pie pudding. I wish I, I had a second to even take a picture of it for you. Um, it ended up looking pretty cute. I put it in little ramekins. So even though my key lime pies were completely destroyed, uh, it tasted good, it looked good. Always have fresh garnish if you're a corporate flight attendant on the plane. There were blueberries that came on the pie. I just put a little mint leaf on it and it looked like a gourmet dessert. So it all ended up working out. The passengers were so kind. They asked if they could help clean anything, like the nicest people ever, but it was busy and I feel it and I'm tired. So for tomorrow, which was supposed to be my last day, but potentially I'm flying through Saturday. I'll discuss that one later. Uh, tomorrow we are going from Miami to the Bahamas. They have a meeting, we're sitting during the meeting, then we fly Miami or the Bahamas back to Miami. And then we were supposed to just ferry the plane home. But we have another plane in our fleet and there are three pilots since they just came back from Europe who are in Palm Beach. So potentially we are going to fly to Palm Beach and then ferry the plane back home with the other crew. Uh, last minute kind of switch, the flight attendant on that plane who it would have been fun to hang out with her, but they are airlining her home, so she's not gonna be on the flight. So I might have my two pilots and three additional pilots on what was supposed to be my ferry flight. But since we're the same company, I'm gonna put them to work and ask them to help me get the plane ready um, because I leave for another trip on Monday and I have to prep Sunday. So my only day off would be Saturday before I start flying again like crazy. Okay, so here's why I might not be going home tomorrow. The people we're taking to the Bahamas might extend their time there and our duty day, our limits are already being pushed pretty far and then we would have to ferry the flight home. So our director of aviation thinks it's a good idea for us to overnight and then fly the plane back home Saturday. So everything is still up in the air even though I'm on the ground right now. And we're just gonna play it by ear. I packed extra clothes, luckily. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat. We're eating close to the hotel. Then I'm gonna go to sleep. Oh no, I need to tell you guys about catering. Uh, there's parfaits downstairs in the gift shop and it's only a 40 minute flight. Too many people to really serve a meal. So I'll put parfaits out and that will be the boarding snack slash onboard meal. Cause I'll be busy pouring coffees for everyone in the morning. And then we'll sit for however many hours our sit is. I think it's like eight hours in the Bahamas. And tonight when we go to dinner, I'm gonna pick up just small appetizers for the 40 minute flight back to Miami. Then when we land in Miami, I'm gonna have catering just for me and the pilots, um, cause we'll be starving. We'll want a full meal on that flight. So only ordering catering for the crew, parfaits and appetizers tonight for my passengers. Probably not gonna have time to show you guys, so I'll try to do it before our flights. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Good morning. I'm not quite awake yet. My hair is not quite dry yet, but it's pretty much time to get going. Uh, last night at dinner, I did not pick up appetizers. We have like nine hours in the Bahamas, so we're gonna go to lunch and I'm gonna pick up apps for my passengers just while we're there. They'll be more fresh. It's less food for me to carry in. It's just gonna be easier. Still no updates whether or not we're flying to Palm Beach and then back home. Ought to be an exciting day. And I haven't ordered catering yet for the sheer fact that I don't know if we're going from Miami straight home or if we're going from Miami to Palm Beach to pick up the three pilots and then going home. So I do plan on ordering catering probably once we land in the Bahamas. It'll be like 8.45 in the morning, so there's still plenty of time before we get back to Miami for catering to get an order prepared for us. I'll keep you guys posted. 
it's time to go fly. Hello, hello, it is Sunday. Obviously I am back from my trip. Uh, yesterday was a recovery day for me. I was so tired by the time that I got home. I slept until like noon, didn't move off the couch until like four and I only decided to do anything because it was our friend's birthday and we went to a party for her last night. So my trip was good. Catering showed up for me and the pilots on the way home. I cleaned out the drawers on the plane. I made sure everything was good to go before the next flight wrote down my shopping list for my upcoming flight. And then when I got to the hangar, I loaded all the supplies that I'll need onto one of the carts. I didn't put them on the plane yet. I figured I can just do that when I go grocery shopping for my next trip. So thank you guys for coming along on my island hop adventure. Please make sure that you like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you do have any questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, post them down below for me and I'll talk to you guys on the next trip. Thank you.